And we're back. All right, let me adjust that volume just a little bit. Because what could be more important than the sound of my voice? Uh, let's see. Boo -boo -boo, latest live. No new, nothing. Oh, there is something new to report. Unholy Bun 239 gave us a follow on Twitch mere moments ago. Actually, almost almost 40, 45 minutes ago. Uh, right there towards the end of the uh, Spellcaster University stream. Uh, we finished up Chaos Challenge Campaign Volcano Map Area. That was part four, so, and we did finish that. So we still got two more sections to go on that before we finish the campaign for the, um, the Astral Clock in the Chaos Challenge. Anyway, thanks again to Unholy Bun, who's, I'm sure, gone by now, but that was fun. I was really not surprised. Middle of the night, I was expecting no one to show up, so that was fun. All right, other than that, no news. Um, no, no news. No news whatsoever. <clears throat> Where'd the game go? There it is. I did watch a video of someone comparing... Well, they were mostly talking about the the Prey game that came out, I want to say, in 2006 that I had heard of before. Uh, and it seems like it was more of a first-person shooter than an adventure RPG. This one is more of an adventure RPG. That one was more of a... in the, in the vein of Doom. <clears throat> or... Yeah. Uh, but it, it looked really good, and you know, and he's pretty bitter because of his love for the original Prey game, and how this version of Prey is supposed to be like some sort of not quite sequel, but it's a completely different play style, the different. So, you know, I know what it's like when you love something, and then something else comes out that's like, in some way, supposed to be a replacement or a follow up for the thing that you love, and it's just not. So, I, you know, I'm sorry if you know what that's like too, but. All right, um, I, this is a manual save. I need to go into the, the load, because I'm not quite sure. Uh, campaign three. <clears throat> Manual save, auto save, auto save, auto save, manual save. I think this is where we left off. And then I I played a little bit in your absence. So let's go here. It's when we first arrive in the Arboretum coming out of the guts. And I had kind of a thought on how to clear this area. So we may do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to try something a little bit different. But first we got to get out of this room, which we're going to spend a little bit of time in this room because... There's a recycler and a um, manufacturer fabricator. So we're going to want to do some manufacturing and fabricating. All right, first, scope. Are we alone? We're not alone. Um, are we crouching? We were crouching. I ruined it. Let's see if we can snipe him. Ah, now he's too close. I wasted a bunch of bullets because my snipe didn't work. Snipey sniper. I'm, of course, channeling uh, Riley and uh, Jonesy from Letterkenny. Now, you kids at home, don't you watch that Letterkenny show? It's got all kinds of the bad language and whatnot. Let's get this headache-inducing device off my head. All right, transcribe time. Oh! Ooh. Make sure I can see chat in case anyone wants to chat. Resume. Transcribe. L. Officer Ja, this is Chief Elazar. Ja here, Chief. 
How can I help you? I need you to report to deep storage and get Chief Show to reactivate the tracker on Grant Lockwood. HR deactivated it as part of the termination, but we don't have a record of him on the departing shuttle. I want to know where he is and escort him where he needs to go. On it, Chief. We need to look for Grant Lockwood, but if I remember correctly, his uh, wristband has been removed. So s adding him to the um, as our tracked person is not going to help. So it's, it's weird. It seems like the recycler should be there and then the fabricator should be here. But, you know, whatever. I'll take it. All right, get rid of the junk first and then we will organize by type. All right, so we've got a shotgun and the Margrave. How many spare parts do we have? Is this spare parts? This is spare parts. So we're pretty good on spare parts right now, so I'm going to um, recycle some of these extra guns instead of breaking them down for spare parts. All right, so that shotgun, that uh, stun gun, this pistol. Oh, man, I just remembered. Okay, we don't have much in the way of power-ups on this pistol. We're going to get a better pistol. So, powering this up could be kind of a waste. All right, now this one, we could get three spare parts, or 1.8 and 1.2. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that one as well. And I think, oh, it's some of these food items that I have very few of, and the alcohol items. Mm. What is this? Yeah, we'll do that. Is this the jellied eels? Jellied eels also re uh, uh, recover psi points, so I guess we'll hold on to those. So we have 14 suit repair kits. And I think that's all I want to break down for now. Jackpot! come over to the fabrication table. Now, what do we want to make? Of course we want to make neuromods. Many neuromods as possible, which appears to be one. All right, so let's check our ammunition. Three, we've got less than 500. I like to keep it above 500. Um, we're over 100 on the shotgun. That's probably enough. And we could probably afford to upgrade that as well. Stun gun. I don't know if I can make ammunition for this yet or not. I think I can. Pretty good on 9 mil. And almost 9 hole on the uh, Q-beam. So we're doing pretty well there. So let's do one glue canister. Uh, not shotgun shells, not suit repair. You heard that right. That was sus. All right. Uh, oh, it's probably just that thing falling on the floor. All right. What else? Q beam cells, silence pistol. I don't want a silence pistol. Uh, EMP charge. Uh, no. <clears throat> Anti rad. No. Disruptor stun gun. No, I want ammo for the stun gun. Med kit. Is there an improved stun gun in the game? Or is the the basic stun gun the, as good as it gets? I could probably stand to make some med kits. They look pretty cheap. I'm going to go ahead and make one. And I think that's all we're going to make for now. If I could make weapon upgrade kits which I can't, neuromods, which I can't, and uh, spare parts we get from breaking things down. I thought we would be here a while. We're not going to be here very long at all. All right, uh, we've already checked him. All right, let's get the Q-beam up, and we're going to get a little surprise when we come up to the window here. Morgan, are you all right? And not... Nothing in the research. Stay away from it. It is scary. It's called the nightmare. 
and it's a nightmare. Yeah, it's, for a while, if, if we encounter it in an area that we haven't cleared yet, we will leave the area. That, that's what's going to happen there. All right, so we're down a little bit on health. Let's get a nibble. Mm. Does that give us the well-fed bonus? It does. We're a little bit down on Psy. I guess I used my um, slow down time thing, my bullet time. He's a very good dancer. You see those moves? Nuts and bolts. All right. I guess I gotta be crouching. Flashlights off. While you're up there, you could look into why the lift is stuck. It'd be a lot faster and safer than having to fly through the guts again. Faster for sure. All right. Um, I should have my scope on. Investigate the lift in the arboretum. All right. You saw that plant move, right? Mm, so that's the hole we came out of. There's a mimic in here. Let's take this note. I've managed to reduce the growth time to around 10 minutes per fruit. It's remarkable to see them sprout from practically nothing and grow to an edible size and ripeness before my eyes. Ripe before my eyes. More importantly, I finally obtained clearance for wider range testing of the growth formula from Dr. Kelstrup. All that's left is to actually fabricating it. All that's left is actually fabricating it and then inserting it into the sprinkler system. I'm keeping the fabrication plan on my person as I have no doubt others would love to claim credit for it. Um, so we need to find Dr. Julian Howard so we can get his formula and grow fruit. Does that go in there? Wow, it'll let me put it in there, but it definitely doesn't belong in there. All right, so we don't have his growth formula. So the Mimic looks like it's disguised as a uh, med kit. Type of plant, another type of plant. I really doubt there's anything up here. Did you hear that? Man, that's annoying. Is it supposed to be annoying? Because it's annoying. I don't think I have the key card or code for this, but it's only level one. So as much as I hate. Okay, the sound is coming from inside. <clears throat> um, all right, I'm going to hack it. All right, uh, we need to go down that way. Oh, whoop, I was, uh, thought I was on the wrong side. Ah, get down there. There we go. Up, 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 up. Get, ah, uh, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Take that, why you little. Some, some goodies. Another note. Julian stopped by, but you were out. FYI, reviewed your lab notes. Plants pose no health risk. You should be good to go in Arboretum. Hans. Well, that's good news. I should have the scope back on, shouldn't I? Oh. 
Yeah, I think we do want that on. All right, we're going to go this way. And before we do too much, I'm going to try to get up there and then up there and across to here and see if I can get any snipes on things from up there with, with you know, limited danger. Because I don't like danger. Oh, what do we... I thought it did... Oh, it detected this body and said live specimen needed. All right... Got another shotgun here. It's a nice day to start again. Nothing here. We can fix this and then take it with us. Fix that one since I have so many spare parts. Ooh, more 9mm bullets. Take this right about here. Oh, I lost track of it. Where is it? It's up there. He got it. Uh, speaking of neuromods, we were speaking of neuromods, weren't we? I'm going to go ahead and go down here because I believe... Yeah, I want that speed scan. So... I really want this lab tech too as well. <sighs> I want lots of things, but I'm definitely going to get this next. And then when I get three more, I'll get this one down here. Okay, so that mimic is dead up there, which might be enough for us to get one more neuro mod when we get back to the recycler. Probably. <clears throat> so we look at these 0.36 and 0.18, so maybe not. Oh, but I'm at 2.94, so yeah, definitely, definitely enough. Yeah, definitely a good driver. Looks like a weapon repair kit. Nope, it's a Psy Hypo. Scared me. Everything scares me. All right, Disruptor Battery Fabrication Plan. Yes, that's the stun gun. So we'll take that. I bet there's one inside that door. Um, so this thing's making a lot of noise. Hopefully it doesn't blow up on us. Everything go well? Eventually. I had to wait a while. Two assholes in the sales team chose that exact moment to stand under the alarm bell and smoke cigars. Under so the alarm bell. My clients are <clears throat> eager. Yeah. Just made the last shipment. Should be Earthside by morning, Pacific time. Good. I'll be leaving another package for you after tomorrow's shift. Drop site? The lobby. Assuming it works. Of course it works. Three taps of the wrench. That'll pop it open. All of them will work that way by tomorrow. You're adorable when you get proud of your gadgets. Don't patronize me, Lily. Right, so that was Lily and Eddie. This is Lily. She's got a nice recycler charge for me. Right under the alarm bell. Three taps with a wrench. And we get another neural mod. All right, so we can actually we can upgrade this now. This will allow me to install two additional chipsets in my scope, and I have one right here, which we can put right there. So speed scan decreases the amount of time needed to complete a scan. Which, if we'd have had that installed earlier, we might have been able to get a full stall, install, install, scan. We should have been able to get a full scan on that uh, nightmare. I just don't have the full 
anymore. So let's eat another thing. And I think what it is, is any of these alarm bells that have the red light over them have a safe inside. I think, I think that's how it works. Uh, those two are looking good. We'll come back to this area a little later. I should have my scope on. I don't know if I can open this door from this side. And I don't think drinking water gives you the... Uh, the well-fed. Right, so what do we got here? Local breaker, loading bay door, turn on power. So now I believe we can use this door. I really doubt anything is coming here while we were gone. We haven't picked up too much, but... Do we pick up an extra stun gun? No, a shotgun. We picked up an extra shotgun. And I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna break it down for parts because we're going to be repairing a lot of turrets. Um, I, can, I reserve the right to change my mind if uh, I don't have enough metal for my fabrication plans. Disruptor batteries, yes! But first let's do a Neuromod. And disruptor batteries. All right, they're not too ch expensive to make. And then make one more of those. And then we still have good supply of metal, but not an overwhelming amount. All right. I thought I made two of those. All right, what else? I refuse to be intimidated by a haunted house. All right, so now we want to go up there. There's a ledge right there, allegedly. God, that's dumb. Um, so let's put one right here, one right there, and then one right there. That should give us more than enough. And I have that super jump as well, so. And if I do it this way, that allows me to climb and climb. Oh, and super jump climb. All right, let's get this on in case there's anything over this little horizon here. Scan complete. More specimens required. Thermal phantom. I hear some electrical problem right there. Okay, so that's a problem. This is a thermal phantom. It's not right there. It's down at ground level. And a problem we're going to have is, I believe both of those are mimics. And I'm not crouching, so I don't get my stealth bonus. Nice shooting, Tex. I missed. And that seems to have missed. Oh, no, I got him a little bit. And that other box just moved. Uh oh, I, I, I moved too soon. I think he's trapped. All right, we got them both. Whew, heebie jeebies. So that's reloaded. And the pistol, we use the pistol, so let's make sure that's reloaded. 
Glue cannon. Alright, now I don't know if anything down here is a mimic. I guess we just shoot everything to find out. Nice ricochet sound effect. Alright. Get the glue cannon ready. And pounce. And nothing in here is going to hurt us. So we'll take that med kit. We're on the back side of a looking glass screen. <clears throat> I think it's deactivated at the moment. We can break through it. Good evening, Talos. Mr. Tucker from HR would like to remind you that if your personal data has changed since the previous pay cycle, please contact him immediately. Mr. Tucker's office is on the second floor of the lobby. Nine mil pistol there. Then we can read the dedication on the bench. We can loot that body. I think we can make a hole without breaking the whole thing. Be wary of mimics. Alright, so we'll take ammo and then the pistol. I think if you just pick the pistol up, it does the same thing. Uh, more ammo. This is Thomas Tucker. Oh! Is this the man from HR? Maybe that's why we got that announcement because we were about to discover his body and given by Catherine Yu, May 23rd. May 23rd? Um, that's suspicious. Wasn't today or when the tests got frozen the 23rd? So that thermal phantom is only 28 meters away. Oh, I think I broke it some more. Sounded like it anyway. All right, so let's put one right here and one right, what do you say, right there? I think that'll work. Climby, climb, climby, climb, climby, climb. How about that climate? Did we, I don't think we looted this. Mmm, you guys want some pudding? We had the $240. We had to have the pudding. Oh, it's a great skit. All right, suit repair. Here's a transcribe from Julian Howard. Julian Howard is... He's the one that made the fabrication thing, right? So that's probably what this is. Dr. Howard's growth formula. All right, so let's see what Dr. Howard has to say. Yesterday's batch was an abysmal failure. Piss poor root initiation. However, Dr. Lin from Psychotronics was kind enough to provide me with a sample of material that should multiply the effectiveness of the phytohormones when applied to already mature plants. I expect reduced time to maturity, increased yield, and an above normal salutary effect. Hopefully, it doesn't taste like shit. What is a I salutary effect? The plant through the fabricator. Does that like make you salivate more? Maybe I should look that up. Anyway. Alright. So we got that. All right, and this is right back where we were. Yeah, I didn't think we were in danger here. Except from the electricity. Whoa, it's still sparking. Wow, I'm lucky I didn't get zapped. Uh, spare parts, extra wrench, shotgun shells, traffic light. All right. Jada Mark's cabin. Jada Mark's cabin. Is this? This is not Jada Mark. Jada Mark is the captain <coughs> of the station, if I remember correctly. Some candy. The wrench. I think it's the wrench I just picked up. How many wrenches do I have? Well, I see three. Okay, and plus the one that I have a uh, hot keyed. Hmm. And transcribe. <coughs> Listen. 
Did I? I thought your shift isn't for another two hours, but I need you to come in now. <coughs> Is everything okay? <coughs> no, it's not. Stop by my cabin first. Bring the gun from my safe. Transmitting the key code. Right away, Captain. So that's going to be in crew quarters, the golden gun, which will be a replacement for the 9 mil. Which not just looks better, it is better. I do not use this lean. Maybe if I had more practice with uh, Ghost, uh, what's it called? I want to say Team Fortress 6, that's not it. Rainbow 6, Team Fortress 6. If I had more practice with Rainbow 6, maybe I'd... I'd use my leaning a little bit more. All right, so we want to get up there. <clears throat> this looks like a place to do it. I've got my super jump. Oh, there's a stairwell right there. So can I climb up here? Uh, 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 that did not work. So let's do it this way. There we go. Ah, you're gonna, don't fall, don't fall. Jeez. Now... That's the hole we crawled out of, and that goes back around to the uh, Fabricator Recycler area. There's a little area here that goes to a security desk. There's a phantom in there. Uh, and then there'll probably be a mimic down there somewhere. I'm not so sure about that. Look at that interesting tree. Amazing what you can do in microgravity. Um, and I think... I think I can just hop up here without using any more goo. I'm pretty confident there are no aliens on this level. That was a mosquito, and I hate mosquitoes. He's way up there now. Trying to have a nice time with my friends and Mosquito shows up. Evil vampires. Um, let's see, am I crouched? I'm not crouched, so let's get crouched. He's got that thermic phantom right there. Maybe I can see him from over here. Well, I've already scanned him, so I don't need the, the thing. It doesn't look like he has any friends. I know what that's like. <laughs> um... I'm more than a little tempted. Oh, that, the thing on the scope moved. I thought something was... <laughs> I'm more than a little tempted to uh, search for the code for this. <clears throat> it would be a convenience. Getting down is not too hard. Getting up is not too hard. You know, with, you know, with my super jump and climb ability. But it would be nice to be able to just walk into it and, you know, like uh, Bethesda product, it just works. Ha ha, a little joke from my friend Gabriel. Loves to hate on Bethesda. Which, you know, I don't blame him because as expensive as Fallout 76 was, it should have worked a lot better. Uh, and he was definitely having performance issues with that game. Is this camera on? It's following me. You know, I'm a little suspicious of the sparks here. It made me think there was a uh, a phantom nearby, but there's there's no phantom nearby. You used to sneak into my room <coughs> when we were kids, hack into my computer. I still remember when you ruined my galactic and keys to those save files. I broke your arm when I found out. It's a nice looking crystal. I regret that now. But I'm still not fond of you messing with my stuff. So for some reason, the aliens can't get up here. There's a neuromod on the desk there. This is level four, so I can't hack it. Nothing under the desk. Ooh, Alex has a banana. I'm gonna take his banana. Won't he be sorry? And a used cigar. All right. 
Neural Horizons 2. I asked Brandy if she felt betrayed by her paraplexus. She nodded, not in agreement, but understanding my point. Because they discovered they could map my brain, but I can't accept a neuromod myself? Her smile became firmer. I think that makes the gift more meaningful. It would be a year before it was quietly decided by Transtar to receive no further neural maps, connectomes, from paraplexus patients, citing unspecified risks. <clears throat> I think she was the gymnast. Uh, what's this? Too fast, uh, too far, too fast. The Reagan era signaled the end of the government's strong support for a space race. Space now belonged to only the interested few, those who could afford it. Historians argued that had Reagan pushed for a military justification, and with the right marketing, then perhaps the space program might have survived. However, without a significant threat to the U.S., there seemed little incentive. Our only other competitor, the Soviet Union, had already showed the danger of reaching too far, too fast. And weapon upgrade kit, I like it. How many of those do I have? Mm, just two. Um, ooh, yeah, let's, let's maximize our output here. All right, so maximum firepower out of the Margrave. <clears throat> Probably work on the stun gun next. What do we got here? Midnight Songs, a classic anthology of Tang Dynasty verse. Um, oh, yeah, that's, that's some good stuff. International Art, Talos Edition. The Transgard Corporation commissioned several high-profile artists to create works exclusively for Talos One, the orbital research and development facility that has brought us the Neuromod and many other technological wonders. Renowned Belgian sculptor Frédéric Smart sculpted the work Smoke Signals, from which the centerpiece of the employee, uh, which forms the centerpiece of the employee dining hall. We haven't been there yet. That'll be in the crew quarters. The installation artist, simply known as Jesse constructed the chain of marbled glass panels which soar gracefully overhead in the Talos One lobby. And former street artist Patrick O oh designed a series of exclusive posters for Transtar featuring impressions of orbit, eclipse, and other celestial themes in his, signif in his signature geometric style. He also developed the Neuromod promotional image featuring the likeness of actor Daisy Prince. Transtar President Alex Yu commented, Art inspires, fires our creativity, makes us look beyond our present circumstances to what might be possible. <clears throat> All right, so there's obviously something behind here. I don't think I can squeeze in there. This is leverage two, so I can't pick it up. And what I should be able to do is hit it with a leverage one item to make it move. Terraforming Mars. Have we read this already? But the cost of these Mars installations and their continued maintenance is staggering. <laughs> their Spartan shells are a far cry from the idyllic colonies pictured by turn-of-the-century inspirational space tourism posters. All that might be about to change. In a rare interview, Transtar President Alex Yu reveals his vision of a Mars where families in short sleeves can picnic on grassy fields, then pick out the point of light that is Earth after the sun sets. Enabling this vision requires transforming Mar terraforming Mars, but most challenging engineering problems, the most challenging <laughs> engineering problem the human race has ever faced. You presents an innocuous gray moss to me. An extremophile organism designed specifically for that purpose, dubbed Taka wow, Takakia Catherine, named after his mom. The simple looking plant is actually a fantastically efficient organic machine that 
given enough centuries, will convert the Martian atmosphere into something that very much resembles our own. <coughs> Yeah, maybe, um, if there's enough material there to begin with. But, yeah, it's it's not that simple because you're going to get uh, cosmic winds stripping away upper atmosphere uh, without some kind of uh, magnetos... What is that? Uh, the Is it the magnetosphere? I don't know. All right, these are leverage ones, so that should work for my purposes. Ooh. Let's crouch. What's right there? The thermal phantom. And I don't have a good shot on him here. Spare parts, another wrench. Is that five now? And then something just whistled, I don't know why. Good evening, Talos. Dr. Hadley Dalton will deliver a supplemental seminar on nerve <laughs> in the lobby <laughs> training center later this week. Sounds exciting. <laughs> Space is limited, so reserve your seat by emailing Dr. <clears throat> Dalton. Dignity's overrated. Um, oh, I wanted to be up there. Can I get up there? Not this way. So do I have to jump over the plants? Or I could go out on that one. Ooh, barely made it. All right, crouching again. Oh, I need to reload. What is that right there? Is that another phantom? He's suspicious. Oh, it's an etheric phantom. But he doesn't know where I am. And I can't get a good scan on him because he has too much cover. But now I'm aware of his presence. Come on, speed scan. Yes! Etheric phantom. Scan complete. Weakness is Q-beam. I just happen to have a Q-beam. But I'm not going to get a good shot on him. I could jump down to that thing. Or try. He would probably spot me by then. Come on, get right over. Yes. Oh, he's hiding. Whoa, he got a piece of me. He knows where I am now. And some of those bolts will go through objects. Uh, let's have a lemon. It doesn't show that he's... Well, he just fired at me again. Oh, God! Sheesh, 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 sheesh. I'm landing down here, so this is a problem. I can't see. Um, there's the... Okay, what I need to do is whew, 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 shake it off. All right, heal before they kill me. Only 38? Yeah, I think I know what Neuromod I need desperately. I have to use three of them. All right, next, let's get the glue gun equipped. Yeah, let's equip the glue gun, and then let's continue running like hell. No, 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 the wrong... Am I still being injured by some... Oh, I was stepping in his, uh, goo. He don't want to step in his goo. <sighs> oh, I also have to find the corpse of that therm... thermic phantom so that I can uh, loot his corpse. 
All right. Well, as bad as badly as that went, I won. Suit's damaged a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll hold off on fixing it for now. Um, let's eat another lemon or something. Oh, also we got that guy's um, formula. So let's head back up there. And I think the glue gun went ahead and finished reloading for us. My wasn't that nice of it. And we can't do a repair. We can only fortify. But I saw something glowy over here. Nope. It's the hole we came out of. All right. So let's put the. Oh, I don't. I didn't make. It. I still have to make it. His uh, fertilizer recipe. Does this look familiar? All right, got a lot of wrenches here. And this yields nine or point nine and point three or one spare part. So yeah, I'm gonna do that one as well. But not that shot. I think I'm gonna break that shotgun down for spare parts. Um, R and dismantle. Just confirm. Oh, it only makes two spare parts. I thought it made three. Do I Let's see engineering? Yeah, I've got the repair three. I don't think that has anything to do with it. All right. Lots of minerals. And Dr. Howard's formula. Ooh, which actually takes a an exotic. Which is gonna cut into my neural mod stash. Fabricate the growth formula, so we've done that. Um, can we make some glue canisters? Yeah, I think we're okay on other stuff. Maybe I'll touch it up a little bit before we go back to the, uh, before we head into the crew quarters for the first time. So the nightmare that we noticed here, yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can actually encounter it on this level. Let's see what do we got there? And Moving on. So now we can go back up the way we came if we want to go upstairs. But I do still want to get up there. Uh, we've got the f his formula. It was talking about me, wasn't it? Let's take a drink. and now we have his formula place the growth formula in the sprinkler and now turn the sprinkler on All right, what's gonna happen this this takes 10 minutes I mean I, theoretically we could just stand here for 10 minutes Does anyone want to do that? I kind of do. Just, you know, maybe do a time lapse. Um, there's a body right there. So test tubes, med kit, and more glue ammo. Alright, 
So we killed two phantoms. I think there's a third one. I think the third one is in this room over here. Judging by the electrical interference, there he is. He went downstairs. Oh, he's seen me. And he has damaged me. Oh my gosh. Now I'm in big trouble. Now, now I'm in bigger trouble. Oof. Take this silly hat off. That's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. I don't know. I, I did it again. Oh, I got myself killed. Handled that poorly. So, how far back did we go? Objectives. Gardening tips. Harvest the fruit after it grows. Okay, so... Yeah, we're in good shape. Um, how do we want to do this then? So we didn't lose that much. Try something a little tricky here. Not sure this will work. facing the wrong way. So that's why kind of why he didn't see me. I'm too far away, gotta be within thirty meters. He's blocked too much. Or maybe I'm just not gonna get to scan him. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get to scan him. Let's take this off because it's just a distraction. Oh! I can't remember what my... F to cancel your attack. Um, if we look at the stun gun and upgrades, actually, should have said right there. Yeah, 7.5 meters. 
is the range. So I've got to be within 7.5 meters in order to hit him with this thing. Getting things done. More than one way to skin a cat. The lights are still flickering. Makes me think there's another one, but I don't think there is. There are, however... Oh! Oh! That did not sound like an operator's voice. That sounded like another phantom is down there. Good evening, Talos. We'd like to remind you that company policy requires you to log any voluntary extension of your work hours with the station counselor. We know the projects aboard Talos 1 are exciting, but even the brightest minds need adequate rest. So I'm not going to be able to scan him. Come on, seven and a half meters. Clear shot. How was that a sneak attack? I shouldn't complain. I'll I'll take it. Uh, reload. Oh, love the stun gun. If you can get it in range, it's more reliable than the uh, glue gun, but. Alright, null wave transmitter, that's nice. I don't think there's anything else down here. Wasn't there a drinking fountain? There it is. And another shotgun. And Lizzie Colton. Shotgun shell fabrication plant. We already have that. And that takes us to the crew quarters, which I don't think we're ready for yet. No matching key card. I was really surprised by that second phantom down here. I thought there was only going to be one. We've got 7.2 magazines. Oh, that's in the way. So let's move this. I'm probably going to want it later. Oh, he's already dead. I must have gotten a critical. Come to daddy. I don't think that killed him. It did kill him. All right. Saves me some ammo. All right, down to 6.4. Right, what's in here? Fuds. And um I'm going to look around and see if I can get this key code somewhere else cuz I don't I I hate hacking. Storage room A2. I know I can get that somewhere. See, now that's still sparking. Does that mean there's a phantom in there? I bet there is. But I'll, I don't hear him. I don't hear him stomping. I don't hear his voice. So maybe, but... Alright, so that one up there, I'm not sure how much good it's going to be doing us. Whoa, whoa! Is this place made of ice? Yeah, 
That's probably just going to get destroyed first time I leave the, uh, the transport out of the area. That's going to be a problem later. Nothing. Mimic detected. Deploying. Scanning target. No type of material. Checking for updates. Servers offline. Type of contaminant. Oh, it fell through the floor. Super. What about these other lily pads? Breaking some glass. Mist. Can I step on this glass without it breaking? I do not want to find out the, the hard way that I cannot. I think I'm better off just shooting this guy. Alright. Oh, there's a wrench down there. So, we're going to want to go down there, and I know how to get there. But not yet. Gardening tips. Oh, the fruit's ready. Oh, it's up here. Bye bye, Ed. So it grew this tomato, which I thought I could take it. I can't push the button. I can't access the chamber. Oh, now I can take it or eat it. Harvest the superfruit. And if we look at the superfruit, hey, it's that was uh, Mitch Degrassi and uh, oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, the two of the guys from Pentatonix. That was the name of their YouTube channel. Uh, Dr. Ha Superfruit, which I thought was insensitive to gay people, but wait a minute, aren't they? Let's see, an experimental fruit produced by Dr. Howard's growth formula, so uh, we can get a material yield of 0 0.06. I don't know what happens if I eat it. I think it wants me to eat it. I'm afraid to eat it. And it's brown, so it's a quest item. So I might need it for something else later. And then I'd have to come back and grow another one. <sighs> so I'm not going to eat it. Um... Mimic tumor, typhon organ, so we got one there, 0 0.06 here, so I definitely do not have enough to make another neuromod. Objective completed! All 
All right. We leaping. Oh, I forgot there's something up here. Uh, I don't remember if there's a bad guy or not. I don't think there is. It's one of those things you don't want to be wrong. Uh, just in case, why don't you just pretend that maybe there could be? Alright, this bench is given by William Yu, also on May 23rd. What's up with May 23rd in this game? Alright, another weapons upgrade kit. A note. Check phosphate levels of plants in Quad 2. Reduce sprinkler cycle by 5 minutes. See if Dr. Howard's experimental plants need water. Dr. Howard changed the greenhouse password to Xenopod 1. Good to know. And I just so happen to know that that building up there is the greenhouse. <clears throat> Alright, what else we got here? Ooh, a Neuromod. A used cigar. And we can... Oh, there's stuff in here. That disruptor battery is very nice. And then her... Her body... Excuse me, ma'am, I just need to... Oh, oh, I didn't want to touch that. <clears throat> Wow. Imagine climbing trees like this when you were a kid. I like it. Yeah, that'd make us uh, some pretty good looking furniture too, I'm pretty sure there, boss. So, right, oops. Right there is where we would put that password in to get into the greenhouse, but not yet. I have other plans for the greenhouse. <laughs> anyway. Oh, crap! I can't believe that I didn't break my fall, and instead I broke my ankle. All right, I was going to put this off till later, but I'll do it now. In here is a med bay, which will have a um, medical operator. That's what I'm looking for. I don't know if there's a mimic in here. I'm going to freak out if there is. You know, because I always freak out. Alright, let's take this off. And, um... That's weird. Okay, that and that are looking glass screens. And with all this sparking, I can't help but wonder if there's a phantom on the other side. Good evening, We're definitely Talos. hearing something. Registration for the Talos Employees Talent Show is now open. See Galen in the crew quarters front desk to reserve a slot. So that's the elevator chamber, and then behind that... And upstairs was where that waterfall came down with the lily pads that were mimics and the glass floor was a looking glass floor that uh, th that greater mimic fell through. So that open area back there, I would guess, has a phantom in it. Alright, anti-rad pharma fabrication plan. I've already had that. Med kit. It's hard to take that one out until you take this one out. And actually... Oh, darn it. Can I get this to sit up straight? There we go. Hopefully, by putting this... No, no, don't fall. Ah, uh, whatever. I can't push it. So hopefully that'll create a little protective barrier in front of that turret in case something tries to attack it. I guess we didn't loot that earlier. 
And I could do the same thing for the other turret. I still feel like I'm pronouncing that weird. Turret? Turret? Okay, that's too tall. Um, I'm going to waste a whole bunch of time on this. Dropped it on myself. Trash can's over there now. Took more damage. Purpose defeated. All right. So, luckily, I don't have to hack this one. And what I'd like to do is glue this door so he can't get out. Alright, so we've got cabinets all empty. This cabinet is also empty. See, he's trying to get out the door. And he will. But when he does, he's going to fly around all over the place and it's going to be hard to find when I want him. Alright, we're crouching. And we're crouching. And we're crouching. Patientiago. I think I heard some footsteps in the distance. You know, yeah, those pounding footsteps. Did you say check in the grass? Alright, scan complete. Let's hide. Alright, he moved away. He's getting closer. Hopefully he's the only one down here. Just went down some stairs. Oh, no, 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 no. And get out of his puddle of goo. Call it a victory. Something here. Ching. And back at it. Alright, so get the glue gun ready. Not much in the way of loot. Big tough guy like you doesn't have any better loot than that. Yeah, alright. Wrench. So, wait. That, oh, Alex is safe. I saw Alex is safe, and I thought it was right here, but it's uh, upstairs and up in his office. All right? What is that green dot? Is it like? I don't know what that green dot is. Okay, so we've got a little fire here. Had a little fire here. Oh, 
Well, that's weird. So, from the back side of this looking glass, we can see through the other looking glass? Yes, yes we can. And it... I don't know, it seems like we're supposed to be able to, like, do something here, but I guess not. Just feels that way. So if we need to, and we're upstairs, and we need to get away from something, we can come down here and just hope that something more dangerous is not down here. <clears throat> right, but it seems like this area is clear. Ah, there we go. O2 bottle. Which I don't think they explode when you shoot them. We already loaded that. What is that noise? I guess this is a drawing of Talos 1 orbiting the moon. Farscan. Not to be confused with Farscape. Alright, so we're going to install that right here. Increases the tar uh, the range at which Typhon can be scanned with the psychoscope. So I think that means more than 30 meters. But how much more? I don't know. Uh, I don't think there's anything else up here. Seems like a perfectly good waste of space. A little garden trowel. What's up with that noise? I don't know. So I would need leverage three to open that, leverage two to move that. So we are going to need a um, recycler grenade. And if I weren't dragging you along for the ride, I would pick up as much stuff as I could and stack it here, but I'm not going to do that. Let's just get a grenade ready, and boop! Yeah, we got a pretty good yield out of that for not setting anything up ahead of time. Let's get a different way. I'd hate to activate that weapon by mistake. A couple more things here. Luckily we didn't lose this dead body. Weapon upgrade kit, I like it. Shotgun fabrication plan, don't really need it. But you know, why not? Burnt circuit board. Another null wave, so, you know, to replenish the one we used to get in here. Anything on top there? Nope. Nothing on top there. Well, we got two more spare part kits here. Toolbox with some frayed wire. Yeah, you were looking for some frayed wire, weren't you? Or were you looking, uh... No, frayed not. Alright, so... We're done in here. Oh, yeah. Burp. And it seems like there would be something up here. Evening, Talos. A word from our but there's not. Chief, Ms. Alizar. To protect your co-workers privacy security terminals are reserved for authorized uses only if you're not wearing a blue uniform you're probably not authorized and dead end all right we could also break this looking glass to make a shortcut but it feels like the wrong move I guess we took a little damage there because we just uh, talked to that operator who healed us and managed to get out of the office like I knew he would. And now sometimes there'll be like a little triangle floating around so you can find him. But sometimes you got to get close enough first. He tends to go... There he is. I was going to say, he, he tends to go up here by the greenhouse and get stuck on something. That's so patronizing. Let's repair the the uh, suit while we're here. Oh, 
questionnaire. Your feedback will be invaluable. Alright. I wonder if there's anything up here. No, just a decent ambush location, I guess. Um... Whoa. Oh, I was not expecting to find anything over here. Glad I looked. So none of those things suggest that they are mimics, but they could be greater mimics, couldn't they? Should I shoot one? Or should I just go down guns a-blazing? Or just go down ready for guns a-blazing? All right. Hope for the best. Oh, and there's more room over here. And then it goes back to the artificial rock. Can you smell? It's like being backstage at Disneyland. It's all food? Oh, I think there was a grenade in there as well. All right, well, it's nice to know there's another place to hide up here. Jump over to here. I think I left the gun right there. The uh, turret. Yeah, it's right there. It's a little place to play catch. I think there's some beer. Now, I suspect there's a mimic or two still on the loose out there. Here's that thermal phantom corpse, except I can't loot it because I, this is not the right piece of the thermal phantom corpse. Gotta get the right piece of the corpse. Well, this is disappointing. I hope he didn't have anything uh, particularly uh, like a unique item that you can only get from the Thermal Phantom Corpse. Here's a... Ah, this is an operator. Mm. Uh, the kind that repairs your suit. But again, if I can avoid playing the hacking game, especially hacking level 2 or higher, I will avoid it. I'm, I'm going to avoid it. That's alright. And then we're getting back over to where the turret is. Um, but we should have some lootable fragments of the Thermic Phantom. Are there not because I used the Q-beam on him? That would make me a sad clown. Vantage point. I'm not sure where else to look. Huh. Ooh, the sun, earth, and moon are almost in line. Looks like they would have been a moment ago. Uh, all right, well, one thing I wanted to show you a little bit earlier is, like, if you have the good jump, you can just jump and climb up here, and then jump and climb up here, and then jump and climb up here, and then we're here. That's an option. I don't think I can jump and climb up here. Probably not. Oh, I can. Excellent. If you get it just right. But then that takes us pretty much nowhere. Oh. 
and that does not help me find scattered pieces of corpse that I long for. There may or may not be, okay, uh, remember when we went down to that tube and then we broke through the backside of the looking glass that's behind that tree over there. There may or may not be mimics in this area. One or two, there's something right there. Oh, we're supposed to get a clue for that later. All right, so we're back up at Alex's office. While we're here, let's grab a sandbag, a fertilizer bag. It's leverage one. Uh, I need to use the stairs or it's going to hurt a lot. And see if we can use this leverage one item to move that leverage two item. That generally works. That barely moved it. Again, barely moved it. I think we're going to have to... Yeah, we're going to have to use a uh, grenade on it. So let's just grab a couple things real quick. That we can add to our... Recycler yield. I think that's all I can lift. Oh, no. Ah. And the diameter that it's able to pull things up... Uh, not sure. Sorry, Alex, you probably paid a lot of money for that ugly piece of crystal, but it's not ugly. I'm just being mean. It's my brother, you know. That's not close enough. Um, can I not pick that up? Nope. You can move it. Oh, maybe you can't move it. Alright, so let's go ahead and recycle this junk. Oh, that... Damn it! That's the wrong grenade. I wasted a null wave, and now I've got a... A debuff... Radiation. You have little to no Typhon material in your system. It's little, because you can't make neuromods without Typhon material. Um, okay, so it doesn't show that I received a status change from that. But if you look in the... Yeah, the other corner there when I closed this... Oh, yeah, just above my health and stuff, there was a little indicator that showed that I had some sort of uh, psycho debuff. Okay, may maybe maybe a little bit bit of spite. There any, did I check these cabinets? I guess I can't open them. All right. So as you can see, we have the back of a looking glass panel here. which I don't want to break. There's a way to open this wall, which explains in part why there's two speakers. So you, Good you wouldn't... evening, Talos. As a reminder, all personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. DeVries promises to make them as quick and painless as possible. I just realized what time it is. I'm going to have to wrap this up pretty soon. <clears throat> so... Probably the way to open that is on his computer, which I think we noticed earlier. We don't have the password for, and it's hack 4. 
I hate hacking in this game. All right, some glue and Q-beam ammo. Hey, there's a leverage one item we could use to throw at that. Okay, so 40-20. And now, so that gives us the Psychoshock Amp. Alex used Sweet, so we can get into his um, bunk. Search Alice, Alex's office safe. So we got Alex's... Search Alex's room for the escape pod key. All right. Transcribe. Things get as bad as they probably are. Your only option is to escape. Get the word out about what's happening on Talos One. Alex has a private escape pod. It's locked up. I made a copy of the key and hid it on top of the data tower near the chair. You know the one I'm talking about. Listen. I, I don't. There's more at stake. Data tower? Just us or this station. If just one of those creatures made it back home, then we're lost. I keep having this dream. I'm just staring into the black between the stars. There's something there. I know there is. I just can't see it. Is that Agent Cho? Me. I can feel it. From the mentalist? Hate us. <clears throat> I know you know what I'm talking about. Or you will. Soon. Well, there, at least I get to replace that null wave uh, that I used by accident. Where does that put me? So I'm up to five neuromods again. I could uh, open two more chipset, a scope chipsets. This one we just picked up boosts the amount of damage done by Psychoshock. So if I was going to be using Psychoshock, um, then that could be beneficial. Um, increasing your psi pool could be beneficial. Uh, you use it for combat, uh, what's it called? Combat focus. So that wouldn't be bad to have. Neurostimulant increases the effectiveness of psi hypos. What I do want is this uh, physician so that med kits do 300% more healing. So basically you can get it, I think it's over 100 with a single med kit. I definitely want that. Do I want it now? Maybe. Uh, engineering, oh yeah, I do want lab tech too. So I'll probably be holding out for that. And then security, all kinds of good stuff here, increased, uh, sneak attack oh, oh yeah we already have the move fast increasing health will be beneficial as well oh and weapon damage so yeah there's quite a few things uh, between weapon damage lab tech 2 yeah and physician th 2 um yeah, I'm, I'm more than a little tempted to get that physician too, because I think we're going to be... Did I run out of... Yep, I ran out of money on my slot machine game. Which, you know, no big deal. Uh, Alright, so we've almost got the Arboretum cleared out. This goes to the back side. Oh, no, 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 no. That's right. Oh, yeah, I do want this one. Up the stairs... So, I guess the easiest way to do this would be to use more ammo and probably do it backwards. You know, shoot the farthest from you first so that you're not blocking your own shots. I think this will work, but I'm going to quick save in case it doesn't. Alright, that gets us there. And there. Oh, no, 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 no! All right. I don't need to quick load. Jeez. I guess I didn't even need that glob. I could have just climbed on there first. Oh, 
Jeez, can I actually just go up here? Yeah. And we can go over, or we can go under, or you can run and slide. Wee fun. Tell our daddy takes our T-bird away. All right, so this isn't too far to fall. Med kit. Alex used tracking bracelet. Dun dun dun. He took it off. A neuromon. So that gives us six now. And we were just looking. Do we want lab tech two, which gives us improved weapon upgrades for non standard weapons? Or do we want firearms two, which takes us. Excuse me, from 120% uh, damage to 150% damage. <sighs> I'm going to go with the Lab Tech 2, and I am going to go ahead and get it now. And if we look here, R for upgrade. So now we can go for maximum capa incapacitation rate. I will want to increase range, probably reload speed. Handling doesn't seem to be too much of a problem. Increased movement speed while firing. I guess that's kind of good. Um, let's see, our disruptor gun. Upgrade. I can increase the range or I can increase the recharge rate. I think I'm gonna go with the range. I probably, and I still need to upgrade the shotgun and some other stuff. Yeah, but yeah, for now we got that. Uh, so that's all we're going to get out of here. We don't have the code for this, so we can't get in there at all. I don't think there's anything in here, but. Ooh, is there something out there? Psychoscope, please. Right there. You probably remember the technopath. This is a telepath. Ah, darn it. Though I can't get a scan on it because it's too obscured. I can try to distract it. Oh, it's too far away. That's why. Uh, I can't tell how far it is. You need it to come closer might work. So let's equip the Huntress. So there's a mimic or something in there. I'm gonna have to pick those up later. Is that a covered top? I didn't think that was a covered top. Wow, that did not do much damage. So it's suspicious, but it doesn't know where I am. Okay, that's a mind-controlled human. I don't want to hurt them. Is it, I think it's trying to come closer. Do I have your attention? I'm doing small damage here. It just fired at me, but it has too many obstructions. That one's going to hit. Wow. It's a little scary. I think it's coming up. So I can't see its health. 
I'm afraid of hitting the human. Reloading. So I'm not going to get a good scan on it. But I was able to knock it out. Alright, so now we can go in the Arboretum. I didn't get to scan anything there. That's a long way to fall. Oof. Uh, oh. But I have fallen down to uh, that thing before, so this should be too much trouble, as long as I break my fall appropriately. Um, no new data, so she's alive and conscious and no longer controlled. Greenhouse. Make sh Keep an eye out for mimics and whatnots. 552. Hey, good to see you too. Could you uh, maybe touch me up a little bit? I guess I can't be crouching or is he just too far away? All right, and we got that Xenopod 1 password while we were out and about. So now we can enter this way, unlock greenhouse doors. Uh, apparently that's multiple. Activate sprinklers. I wonder if we... Since we put that stuff in the... I, I don't know. Test tube samples. Here's Ronnie Chaudhuri. Uh, One of my darts. Doctor, you. What happened? Where? Oh, God. Please tell me you killed that thing. I came up here to deploy the EATs, the eradicator turrets. Then it was like all the color bled from the world. Everything had an edge to it. I, I couldn't control myself. I. But. The EATs are still in the small arms closet nearby. We could still use them. Here's the code. I'm going to make my way to the cargo bay. Security was supposed to fall back there. Cargo bay. <laughs> Sarah will have my ass if I don't. All right, so I think that's the one down in that room across from where we killed those operators. I'm going to head down to cargo bay. Don't want to make Sarah mad. Even if she didn't make it, she'll still find a way to take it out on me. I'm tempted to stun her and then take her inventory. Alright, here's its corpse. So this one, even though it exploded, did, did give us some loot, unlike the uh, Thermic Phantom. Alright, this guy was controlled, now he's unconscious, but he's alive! So we didn't kill him. This is already unlocked. Another weapon upgrade kit. Null wave shielding. That sounds good. Soup du jour. What's that? It's the soup of the day. Ooh, that sounds good. I'll have that. Uh, oh, so I'll have to take something out if I want to put the null wave shielding in. Shields the effect of the null wave transmitter. Which I won't be using that often, so... Um, this is a science operator. Do I have to hack it? Gotta hack it to get in, to get it to activate. And it'll uh, replenish your Psy, your purple health bar. And, oh, here's another guy. Rodney S. Poole, unconscious. He's got a circuit board and a suit repair kit. I think that's all the humans that were in here. Kill all humans. Maybe I can help you. Not up there you can't. Freak. Did you find the EATs? I, I hope they shred I, those things. I haven't actually gone to look for them yet. Alright, so let's get all this fruit. Okay. 
Scott. It was Mitch, Mitch, De, Mitch Grassi and Scott. Uh, I can't think of his name. They'll probably come to me in about another ten minutes. The uh, the super fruit guys from Pentatonix is what I'm talking about. I used to watch their channel on the regular. So talented. And we got banana. I mean, even if I don't eat them, I can recycle them for organic material. Too bad you can't make a pie. That's the biggest blueberry I've ever seen. Good lord. Sky King pomegranate. I wanted the uh, Sofa King pomegranate. How blue are those pomegranates? They're Sofa King blue. Can I get back there? There we go. Seems like there should be at least one more. There we go. All right, so we've pretty much cleared the level now, except for... Nice to see you. Oh, that's right. I forgot that there's another way into that room. Nothing over here. Um... I don't think there's anything back here. A space shuttle covered in weaver threads? Interesting. I wonder if we should go out to it. Hello. Nice to see you. Why, it's mighty nice to see you too. All right. Uh, this is where... Is this the AR? This is A2. So I think A1... I thought we were already up here. Is this A1? AR1? Yeah, so 9151. But let's assume that it's not safe. Did I enter it wrong? 9151? 9151. What did I put in? Whatever it was, it was wrong. Alright, any mimics? That was rude. Alright, well if it hasn't detected him yet, it's not going to detect him. All right, two more foam bolts. Shotgun. I want to sit in the front seat. I don't have space to pick up those pistolas. So I've got two more turrets here. What do we got down here? Another weapon upgrade kit. Nice. Um... Ugh, I need to wake Wolfgang up so he can take a shower. Uh, oh, range and versus range and recharge rate versus where's my Margrave? There it is. Ammo capacity would be nice. I don't know if recoil affects the rate of fire. Maybe it does. Um, let's see if it actually says. Less in recoil. Uh, I've got the incapacitation rate up. Range would be, and range improvement would be nice. Don't want to do the pistol. What am I forgetting? Oh, the, um, I, I don't know what the um, upgrades are for the Huntress. There isn't one. All right, so the Q-beam upgrade. We've got power. Oh, so it does more to increased speed of damage I, I think is how we're taking that increased power making enemies explode faster yeah so that's good handling increased movement speed while firing firing time so it'll fire for a longer time before it needs to recharge which 
also, I assume, makes the ammunition more efficient and then the reload speed. Uh, I think if we're going to be using this, we want it to be more powerful. And then that's all of those we have. I should be able to pick up at least one pistol now. Q-beam ammo. And yeah, no more room. So I need to clear that room, but before we do that, let's use the recycler and I still haven't picked up that gun. Well, a lot of junk here. Um, and I'm gonna actually 1.8 or three spare parts. So let's take this back and then because the shotgun is 1.2 and two spare parts. So yeah, let's melt down the two shotguns and we'll dismantle this glue gun. And food, we'll do that food. Oh, that gives me psi points, so I'll hold on to that. Get rid of these and these and these and that alcohol. Is that duck beer? No, that's not duck beer. I thought I had picked up some duck beer though. We only got one of those. That's, that's by name, by type. Actually, if I go by name, then it should be no. That didn't help. Type. So beverages and food are all right there, except for that one. That doesn't make sense doesn't make sense at all. All right, so we're going to go with that. Recycle. Whoa. All right, so we have enough for two more neuro mods, so we're going to prioritize those. There they are. And then ammo, we got plenty of glue gun ammo. Grab those. Glue gun ammo. Shotgun, we're looking good. Uh, I feel like I want to make another one of these. Definitely good on the 9 mil. And we could probably use some Q beam ammo. So, I already forgot what I said. Not shotgun, not pistol. Oh yeah, the um, disruptor batteries. Oh, Disruptor, it's so good. You just got to get very close to use it. So that gets us up to 9.7. That should hold us for a while. What was the other thing? Q-Beam. Q-Beam, uh, Q-Beam, Q-Beam. Ooh, that takes a lot. I gotta pick it up first. If it doesn't slide far enough down, then it won't create a new, a new thing. Or it won't allow you to put any more materials in. Alright, so Q-beam. We've got nine reloads, so we're, we're sitting pretty there. Alright, so what's left to do on this level? Oh, that room that goes down to crew quarters. Uh, the security room. And I forgot. I so said we still won't have a way in here, right? No matching key cards. So how can we get in here if we hate hacking as much as I do? Why? The handy dandy huntress. I almost forgot. Now I need to aim up there, but if I drop down here, then I'm too low. So... Move that right over here. 
jump up here. I think I didn't move it far enough. That'll work. So, area map and security doors. Right there. Is that going to work? A little higher. And unlock. I might need to stand up again. I believe that worked. It did. All right, now I'm stepping all over my my dots. Oh, I'd have a dart. I don't smoke. I've always, you know, my dad smoked when I was a kid, and I hated it so much. Psy hypo plan, which I don't think we needed. I think we already had it. No weapons in here. I feel very secure having this crossbow. That's going to be... That's what's going to save me. Another weapon upgrade kit. Nice. And the West stood tall. Do I want to read this? In 1964, President Kennedy turned his back on American interventional... Interventionism? Intervention. Yeah, I guess that's right. Uh, but what if America had stood up for its allies in Vietnam? Would communism still reign in the East? Would the Iron Curtain have fallen? Renowned political commentator Lance B. Jenkins weaves a gripping alternate account of the days following the Gulf of Tonkin incident and what might have been if America had gone to war in 1964. Jenkins' historical imagination is meticulous, majestic, and poignant. Uh, yeah, the Gulf of Tonkin incident. The manufacturing of consent. Did I get this one already? And I got that one. So, let's get the map. And read some emails. Now, what was the name of that guy we were supposed to be looking for? I don't think he was from Trauma Bay. Oh! Uh, in the trauma bay, there's that one office that had the blinds lifted a little bit. I smashed the window. I couldn't find a way in. I was thinking you had to have the mimic ability in order to be able to squeeze through that small space. Apparently, there's another way where you can use the crossbow. I think first you have to fire a glue glob and then bounce a crossbow bow, bowl, crossbow bolt off of the glue We'd like to remind you that company policy requires you to log any voluntary extension of your work hours with the safety um, and bounce the dart off of it, and then if you're lucky, it'll hit the button that opens the door. I guess there's a, I think there's a teleportation ability with some of the uh, Typhon neuromods. I'm not sure. So we're looking for... His name was Peterson. I don't remember his first name. Uh, objectives. Disgruntled employee. Grant Lockwood. Wow, I was going to look for the wrong name. So we believe he's in deep storage. And I believe that, if I remember right, that I'm wasting my time here because Grant Lockwood... This is by first name. I think it was telling us that he had taken off. His his badge had been removed. Was fired and scheduled to leave the station on the last shuttle to Earth, but he skipped getting on the shuttle. HR made the situation worse by deactivating his tracking bracelet before he was officially off the station. If I can get to deep storage and reactivate his tracking bracelet, I can find out what happened to him. So I can... I can't activate it here, but I might be able to grant Lockwood unknown status. So once I activate it, then he should show up as a, um, a target. But until then, I don't think I'm going to get the... the heads-up display icon leading me towards finding him. Probably not. Uh, no emails. Alright, so we have cleared the level, I believe, as much as we can. I have. Do I have a gun down here? Alright, I'm going to want to grab 
one of those guns from the other storage closet. I should have said turrets, right? So let me move for Oh, we have not quite finished everything. Let's drop this. And hopefully I won't freak out and get killed by a mimic. Alright. There may be a mimic up here. Uh, Starbender this is a r ridiculous uh, book. Um, whoa! Gabe! Somewhere beyond the sea. Yeah. The memory of John F. Kennedy. I am just about to wrap it up. I wanted to just clear a few more things before I do wrap it up. Synthetic material. And then I gotta get Wolfgang oops in the shower. And then start waking everyone else up for school. How you doing, brother? Another bench here. Now one of these trees has initials carved on it. Let's go ahead and turn the light on so that'll show up if I look at it. I think it's the other big tree. I was thinking that one. Maybe it's that one. Um, I think it's. I think it is this one. Yeah, there's the initials. And there's a rock here. Yeah, there's a rock here and there's a badge for that other storage room here. But I kind of don't want to get it because I want to find it the way that I found it before. I think we, we get a clue in uh, crew quarters that leads us back to that tree with the initials. We already searched this guy, the HR guy. All right, so we have cleared the level, although it'll be plenty polluted when we come back. Um, so I am going to leave that one badge there. It opens that storage closet right there, and if I'm not mistaken, well, I don't want to spoil it. There's a, uh, a guy who's been turned into a phantom there. All right, we're sitting, we're in pretty good shape. I got another, did I? Huh, I kind of thought I put a turret up on top of that. I guess I didn't. No bigs. All right, and if I feel like I'm alert and stuff enough to play after I get everybody to school, then uh, maybe I will stream. Ooh, no matching key card. So I'm going to have to go to one of the other areas. So we're in the Arboretum. It looks like currently I have access to the Talos Bridge. I don't have access to Deep Storage or the Lobby. So I can either go back to the Guts or to the bridge. I could have sworn that the next thing I had access to was the crew quarters. Hmm. Locate crew member. So, oh, this wants me to go to deep storage. And I can't go to deep storage yet. And the golden gun is in crew quarters. I've got to seal a hull breach. Hmm. Black box project. So that's back in hardware, but I don't think I found that yet. This says hardware labs. I, oh, I found Josh Dalton in the guts. So now I have to go back to the hardware labs. 
Um, Tyler smuggling ring, lift interference. So I could try to uh, clear the, the lift, which will get me in a fight with a technopath. Corpse vanishes, so that's crew quarters and whistleblower. Dr. Gallego's habitation pod in crew quarters. So that's also crew quarters. So the map is saying that I'm allowed to go to the bridge next. So I guess that's what we'll do on the next episode of T-Ray TV Plays Prey. Um... Or I'll look it up and see what it is I'm missing for crew quarters. Because I think last time I played this area, I was able to go to crew quarters before I was able to go. Or I I didn't have to go anywhere else. I didn't have to go to deep storage. I didn't have to go to the lobby. Didn't have to, Or maybe I did go to the lobby. Maybe uh, when in my attempt to go to the lobby, I was able to unlock crew quarters. I don't think that's true, though. All right, well, either way, I'm going to wrap it up. Dinner begins at 7 p.m. What time is it now? So no matching key card. Hmm. All right, well, we'll see you next time. Stairs. I've been all over Alex's office. Went in there. Went back there. So I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to eat the fruit. All right. So this looks like a good place to end. Screenshot. All right, you know what to do. Click on the things, like, subscribe, follow, whatever. Share a link, let other people know that this is where to find this. Uh, the descriptions, uh, if you want to donate to the channel one way or another, there's three different ways uh, you can do that. And uh, that little bit of validation. It, you know, I'm trying to avoid the sarcastic tone, uh, facetious tone, because it, it does actually, it, 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 I do feel that. Uh, I appreciate it. <sighs> if you got the Twitch Prime, if you got the Amazon Prime, you can have the Twitch Prime, then you get the free subscription for one Twitcher per month. But that's pretty much everything. It's been fun. I guess Gabe is gone already. Uh, I knew I would be bad at keeping track of uh, chat because it's the middle of the night and I wasn't expecting anyone to show up. But but Gabe did show up, so thank you, Gabriel. <sighs> Until next time, be well. It's always more fun when you're here, so I hope to see you then.